Now let's move on to young athletes uh, and let's talk about how spondylolisthesis affects them. Mm -hmm. How does it happen? So uh, essentially there are two ways. Uh, those kids that were born with a missing pars interarticularis, they will sort of start to have symptoms once the disc degenerates. And like I you know, described, they'll have difficulty bending backwards, they'll have difficulty laying down. The other group are the athletes that practice a lot. So baseball players, um, uh, uh, gymnasts, uh, even a, a kicker from a, a one of our football team recently came to my office. You know, when you do 80, 100 repetitions of the same full force rotational movement, you can actually develop a stress fracture of that same bone. Now, if you lay off the sport at that time, it can heal, but if you continue, it can go into a complete fracture, which has certain repercussions later in life. So certain athletes are more susceptible than others, for example. Definitely, definitely. In fact, textbooks talk about down linemen and gymnasts, but essentially anyone where there's extension or significant rotation, like in baseball or golf, they are at risk. Now, do these symptoms start right away uh, after birth? I mean, obviously not when a child is six months old because they can't talk, but is this something that even a toddler can experience that pain? Well, great question. So, actually, no. It takes a while for the patient to actually have issues due to that missing bone because the stability is provided by the disc. So, usually, patients who have a spondylolisthesis due to a spondylolysis or the missing pars, mm -hmm. They will start to get symptoms either when they're very active in sports or in their 30s, when the disc degenerates. Look at that. So think of it this way. Between every vertebra, three points of contact, right? The disc carries 60% of the responsibility for stability, mm -hmm. and the two joints in the back share 20% each. But if you disconnect those joints from the disc because of a missing pars interarticularis, the disc will carry the entire load the entire responsibility of stability. And once the disc degenerates, essentially that's the only piece of tissue that's going to connect the head to your, to, to your legs. Makes perfect sense. So once that disc degenerates in the 30s, early degeneration, it's already enough to allow the spine to shift and to produce symptoms.